Farm Boy Reef here. So tonight, episode two, I told you guys we're gonna we're gonna build the, the frame for it in the tank for the T5s. Uh, gonna work together with the Radions. So I got the materials here. Um, so we're gonna start uh, mounting the supports inside the tank and do the wiring and get her up and running and show you guys how to hook up the, the wireless controller with your iPhone or Android. So we, got the, we got the canopy open right here. So this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like before we're gonna add the T5s to it. So what you're gonna need is a level and the L brackets we're gonna set up there. So if I put the L brackets, I can take it in and out easily when I put corals in there, make it a lot easier. So I've got two of the L brackets here uh, mounted. So I'm gonna measure the other side now and do the other side. The other side of the brace almost done here. So you get to see it, you have a level on it to make everything all leveled up now, both sides. So both sides are good to go. So we're going to see you make the frame fit in there for the T5s now because these will support it, keep it. I have it uh, two and a half inches off the water line. I got the frame in here. You can see frame's good to go. It fits perfectly. So you see how it's sitting on the sitting on the L brackets there. She's good to go. The T5 um, mount mounted to put the L brackets to keep it up about two inches off the water surface here. So the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it to the wireless controller. I'm just finishing the wire here on the for the T5s right now. I just uh, wiring wiring up. They're just like a fluorescent with the with the ballast. So I'm just doing those right now, making the final connections mm -hmm. so I can hook to the the workhorse seven ballast. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing here right now. So I I got my sockets mm -hmm. put on and I'm just finishing up the wiring right here. So I put up a like a nice cord nice corded end. It's going to go up through the canopy and it's going to go to the, the workhorse 7 ballast. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just finishing up the wiring on it. So that's the frame that's built that's going to be going on. And then this is the that's the wireless controller we're going to be able to control these T5s with because with the Radions I have the reef link and I can't hook this up to the reef link. So I can use this. We're just going to plug it in and then I'm going to show you how to uh, program your uh, cell phone over Wi-Fi. So I have it all wired up now. And I got the T5s mounted to the frame. All the wiring's done. So the two T5 60 inch, so they're ready to go, they're ready to go above the tank and I can finish uh, wiring the ballasts to them. And hook it to the wireless remote. So I got the T5s installed. You can see here behind me, those, that is just T5 lighting right now. Got the for the T5s, so there's the frame we built, and there's the T5 bulbs. So I have the radions just a little bit higher. As you can see. So now I'm going to try to I'm gonna hook them up to the wireless controller and show you guys how to program and run that. Now. So this is the T5s on right now. It makes a lot of the different colors pop. Like my A-can, from the Radeon, you wouldn't be able to see that as much. And the green on that A-can, I call that A-can Mountain. So it brings out a little more different colors than the Radeons, to be honest with you. What else we got here? So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna grab my other iPhone here, and I'm gonna turn on uh, the Radeons now. Give me a second here. So here come, I'm going to turn the radio with the radions on. So there, radio, radions just turned on. So that's radions with T5s right now. So it's pretty cool, because I can notice right now just by when I put the T5s on, my frog spawn right here, I can see a lot more of the green really like the halt green color and the frog spawn from the radions i couldn't really tell but we can do a test here i'll shut those off let me shut the radions off and see if we see a difference so there that's with the t5s off or the radions off so let's turn the radions back on just using my reef link here definitely brightens it up so i'm hoping to get better growth so i'm just going to turn the radions back on So definitely brighter, it brings, it's popping them a lot more. So I'm hoping we're gonna get a lot more growth on that right now. 
Like there's my blue SPS. Hopefully get some good growth on it. And the staghorn. So now I'm gonna shut I'm gonna shut my radions off. Now it's just T5. So I'm liking the I'm liking what I'm seeing um, with the T5s and Radions together, a little different mix. So I'm hoping what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my Radions do the normal cycle, how I have them for the eight hours. But I'm probably going to run maybe the T5s, Atenix another hour after that to help with the growth to get their blue Atenix, the corals. So uh, next I'm going to show you how to program the controller to control these T5s because you can't control them with the, the Radions. So that's it. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's do the controller now. All right guys, so this is the wire controller I thought would work great for us. So it's a Wemo switch from Belkin. Um, so you can use your, your Apple device or an Android. So let's go inside and check her out. So there we go, it says, welcome to Wemo. So here we go. So all it is is it's a single plug. Um, it's got a wireless uh, capability built into it, you can see here. So when you go to uh, program this, you're gonna find your router by hitting this symbol here. But before you do that, you're going to go here, you're going to read the instructions, the Wemo switch instructions. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to plug your device in. Plug your device in, then you're going to download the app, then go to settings, and then that's it. You're going to launch it, and then you can program what you want to do. So I'm just going to get this set up, and then we're going to program it, guys. So I got the Wemo here, finally got it programmed. So I'm just using my other phone to show you guys. Right now it's doing a firm firmware update it says it takes about 10 minutes so I'm going to show you guys as soon as I get it done here I got it got it all programmed up and we'll turn see if we can turn the T5s on wirelessly Great. guys so here we go we got the update is complete so let's hit hooray so there we go I got aquarium now let's see if it's gonna work but so this is gonna be wirelessly this so this is what I bought at Home Depot the Wemo controller so we're going to hit the power on. Let's watch the tank, guys. All the hard work of wiring it all up. So where's the button? Okay. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. That's wirelessly, boys. Hit it again. Hit the button. See? So there's $50 wireless controller. I'll shut the light off here in the room. So you guys can see that. So there, there's the tank. Let's hit the button, turn her off. Turn her on. There we go. Wireless color there. So there's T5s, guys. I really like how T5s really make the corals pop. Like, look at that, look at that Fabia. A little bit of the green and the reds in there. Looks pretty awesome. SPS coral, this is the first I've seen him under the T5s. It's pretty neat. Little crabs in there. So that's what you get. Home Depot, get a Wemo, wireless controller, and just program it onto your network. You're good to go. So the other thing you can do, we can go down to like rules. The first thing rules is that it. So we can put um, by time. So we can do sunset, all that kind of stuff. A Wemo with motion sensor. So here I can I can program this. So when I want to turn my lights on and turn them off. So like I said. I'm going to have them programmed after my, well during the day, but I want to run them an hour after my radions go off. I run my LEDs for eight hours a day, but I want to run the Atenix a little bit longer. If I cancel on that, I'll program that later. And that's my device. So that's pretty easy, you guys. I'm going to shut it off. Boom. Turn it back on. Boom. That's all wirelessly. You can do that anywhere. If you're in the world traveling or anything, you can do that up as well. So guys, that was a T5 install DIY project. Um, so yeah, just made a frame out of EMT piping, um, a little bit of wiring, a um, couple sockets for T5s, and I got the Atenix in there, and then a $50 wireless controller I got from Home Depot that you can you can add up like as many devices as you want to this thing. But so now this one will control it control my 
my T5s because I have a reef link for my Radeons, but it can't can, can't wirelessly control the DIY uh, T5 lighting. So just by getting the Wemo, I can control that, and then I can program it. I don't really have to touch it anymore. Um, so I'll program it to come on with my Radeons, but I want to shut it an hour after my Radeons off so they can get a little bit more Atenic T5 so you get some more growth on that. So yeah, so that's it. Guys, if you have any comments and you want to learn anything about how to wire up these puppies or programming the Wemo, it's pretty easy. You guys can hit me up. If you like this video, please subscribe and we'll keep them coming because the next one is going to be doing the, the two tanks for the kids on both sides. But I wanted to get the T5s up and running and get that started to see it go from there, how much growth we get. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, hit the like button, please leave comments, little shout out. I'll answer as many questions as you can, guys. So that's her. T5 install.